Hi, I'm Ellen. Are you ready for a veggie tray showdown? <laughs> I'm going to aspire to make a three-dimensional veggie tray so that I can knock the socks off my in-laws tonight at Christmas Eve dinner. So let me give you the backstory while I work. So the plan is to make a three-dimensional veggie tray. So so I was talking to my brother before Thanksgiving. Yes, I know a pineapple is not a vegetable. I'll tell you, I'll explain this. So I was talking to my brother, Ken, who lives about an hour away about um, Thanksgiving. And he's a very good cook, but his in-laws asked him to bring the veggie tray for Thanksgiving. And so he was like, well, if I'm gonna bring the veggie tray, I'm gonna bring the best darn veggie tray they've ever seen. Although he used a different word. And so I thought, oh, that's hilarious. So he showed me a picture of the really cool penguin veggie tray that he and his daughters made. And they like laid out like a picture of a penguin made up of vegetables. And I thought, hey, that's really cool. So then when my mother-in-law the other day called and asked me to bring the veggie tray for Christmas Eve tonight. I thought, I'm gonna bring the best darn veggie tray they've ever seen. Although I admit that darn wasn't the first word that came to my mind. But to be fair, like veggie tray is an awesome assignment, don't you think? Like it's easy, like if it gets messed up, like how can you mess up a veggie tray? You know, nobody really eats it anyway, so there's like no shame if it like doesn't work out or whatever. So I thought, okay, I'll do the veggie tray and I'll make the best darn veggie tray <laughs> ever. And since Kevin had already made a um, penguin veggie tray with um, his daughters, I thought I need to do better than a penguin veggie tray. Like the gauntlet is down, like I need. So I thought I saw a inspiration photo of a, re of a Christmas tree, like, like mm, 20 foot Christmas tree made out of heads of broccoli. And the baubles were apples, red apples and green apples. And I thought, oh, I wonder if I could do that miniature. So I have broccoli and I was at the grocery store and I thought, how can I make like a structure underneath? And I thought, a pineapple. I'll carve a pineapple into a cone <laughs> and we'll see how this goes. So let me grab a bowl to put my pineapple in. So I'm attempting right now to carve a um, cone shape, tree shape out of the pineapple. And I'm going to attempt to make a star, Patrick's idea, out of pineapple for the top of the tree. And so while I'm making this, I thought you guys might kind of have fun um, along with my little adventure here as we do the veggie tray showdown. So I'm carving just the green parts off my pineapple. Luckily my family likes pineapple, so all the leftover odd shaped pieces, they will enjoy eating. But anyway, so I don't know, it's kind of funny. So I, um, I don't wanna complain about my in-laws. I really don't, like they're lovely people. But like for Thanksgiving, they asked me to bring, what was I supposed to bring? Oh, I was calling it second string dessert. So like somebody's assigned the pumpkin pie and clearly on Thanksgiving, pumpkin pie is like the premier dessert, right? That's what everybody wants. Well, you know that there's always people who don't like pumpkin pie. And so I was assigned like the secondary dessert, which I was calling the second string dessert. So I made, um, I made chocolate cu chocolate cupcakes, which I knew like would go over well, and they did, and so that was fine. But it's just kind of funny that I'm, I'm usually asked to bring kind of a secondary item, which, like I said, is really cool. Like, how do I how do I make this into a cone? I have no idea. Okay, so I'm just gonna like kind of visualize for a moment, and like there's a stem here. So I was thinking I would make it into like a square and then just start rounding it off, but it needs to be steeper than this. Ooh. So, okay, pineapple. Anyways, so I thought with the veggie tray, I need to really like up my game because if I don't do a good job, <laughs> 
my running friend Lisa said, if I don't do a good job with the veggie tray, I'm going to be demoted to ice for the next holiday. <laughs> so I think that my chocolate cupcakes really did go over well. I don't think that was a problem, but I'd really like to do a nice veggie tray. And this is really shrinking really quickly, this pineapple. So I don't know what's going to happen. So this is the first plan A, and I'll try to insert a photo of what I'm going for but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that because I, I found it on Pinterest. And so plan B, of course, is to do the boring <laughs> boring veggie tray where like you lay it out on the platter and you put a dish of ranch, which is really nice and it'll, it'll be what people expect and it'll be fine and people will eat it and it'll be great. But I was thinking, why not make the best darn veggie tray possible? And I'm gonna show this, send this picture when I'm done. Hopefully it'll be decent to my brother and see what he and his girls came up with. Okay, I think it needs to be sorta of done, but I carved off too much on this side. So I don't wanna like keep going and carve too much off. And it needs to be kinda, I think, flat at the top because I think I can fill it with stuff. So, and then I got, I guess I need to put it on the platter. Otherwise, I don't know once I get it all together if I'll be able to put it on the platter. So, okay, let me grab the Christmas platter. So this is the platter I have to work with. Very cute, little Christmas tree. Let's put this here. Okay. Bag of trash over there. Okay, so now I'm going to cut apart, watch this slide on down the platter. Okay, I'm gonna cut apart all my stuff. The only requirements of this tree was that, um, I needed to do red and orange um, peppers because my mother-in-law like, likes those. That's what she really wants in a veggie tray. And then I like the broccoli. And I do have baby carrots, although I'm not sure how I'm going to put those on a tree. So let's see. I guess I should visualize this somehow before I start cutting the star. Like kind of score it here. Let's see if I can figure it out. Okay, maybe I should just draw it like I would do a pencil. There we go, that's a little bit better. Okay, so, anyway, oh, don't go too far, Ellen, you'll break it. Don't forget it has to be solid. So I'm thinking of assembling all of this with toothpicks, but I don't know if that's gonna work. So plan A is to make this freestanding structure of a, of a Christmas tree out of veggies and the core of it is the pineapple. And then plan B is to lay it all flat on a platter and call it done. <laughs> so why be extra, right? Just get it done, Helen. <laughs> it's just a veggie tray. <laughs> but I thought it would be fun. Okay, so here's my star so far. I guess I need to cut more of the green part off. Okay, that's not a, that's not a terrible star, is it? Okay, so. No, no, so it'll go up here somehow, maybe like that, and I'll have to put it in with toothpicks. Anyway, so I just thought you might want to enjoy this because I knew that it might go horribly, horribly wrong. And that's okay. It's a thought that counts, right? <laughs> I'm counting on it. Otherwise, I'm going to be demoted to ice next, for the next holiday. All right, ice is not so bad. I don't, don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed if you're the person who, who is assigned ice. Like, there's no shame in ice. Ice is very important. Everybody plays a role. <laughs> it takes a village to do Thanksgiving and Christmas, doesn't it? Okay, so there's a little, um, it's a little bit awkward, but you know, it could be worse. Okay, so let's do that. Now I'm gonna rinse my hands because I've got pineapple juice all over and it's sticky. So I don't know that you can see on the tabletop here, but all these veggies and fruit and stuff, like you have to balance that with sugar, right? Like you just, too much good stuff is just not good for you. So I have the gingerbread house that Chicky and I made the other day. And I've got my handy dandy candy bar because they've been, they were on sale. So I bought like 20 of them at the grocery store. So my got my dark chocolate on standby in case I have a crisis and I have a meltdown and I need to eat some chocolate. To, balance out all this stuff. Really what I'm doing is stalling. I'm stalling because I don't know how to get started. So let's see what I can do here. 
um, I guess I should cut apart the broccoli and make and the cauliflower and start sticking it onto the tree <laughs> with toothpicks. I hope I have enough toothpicks. Okay, Ellen, quit stalling and get started. Okay, so here I'm taking some broccoli crowns and I'm cutting them apart. And the plan is, let's maybe I should test it before I get too deep into what I'm doing. The plan is, I'm thinking that toothpicks are too long. Um, so I'm thinking if I can just cut them apart. I don't know if that's possible. Oh, okay, that works. And I'm thinking about, like, how do I... Okay, so I put a toothpick in here. So the other thing is, it's possible that nobody will eat the tree itself and that I need to have lots of leftover stuff around it, right? So my thought is, what I did is I just put a little toothpick... I cut a toothpick in half and put it in the little block broccoli florette here and I'm just gonna stick it on the tree and see what happens and then I think the little stem part needs to be sort of short so I'm going to just put these on and then randomly I think I need to put on um, cauliflower like to look like little batches of snow on there that's the plan anyway so I'm hoping maybe nobody will eat off the tree because I don't want them to accidentally eat the uh, toothpicks. And really, so maybe I'll just have, make sure and have lots of like leftover stuff around. Anyway, this is what I'm doing. So I'm gonna just keep working and see what happens. And I probably got to do some, all this stuff is pre-washed, by the way. I washed all this stuff before I started the camera. Let's see if I can get some cauliflower on there. And then I will, I don't know how to do like speed up motion on the camera. So, but I don't really want to pause either. So let's see here. These are, this is the kind of day that makes me wish we still had chickens because they would totally eat all of this food scraps stuff. And I hate to waste it, but don't have any chickens to eat it anymore and I don't have a compost pile maybe that's what I should get for Christmas is a compost pile anyway so I'm just gonna keep working well but you what have you what are you doing for Christmas did you get a signed second string dessert did you get a signed um, like the premier item What's the premier item of your dinner? Like tonight, we're not even, we don't even like do dinner on Christmas. Well, we do. It's, we usually um, eat lots of appetizers and then soup and like roast beef sandwiches, hot roast beef sandwiches, and then lots of appetizers. So I'm just going to sprinkle some cauliflower mixed in occasionally and see how this goes. I'm going to win. I'm going to win this veggie tray challenge. My brother doesn't even know it yet. <laughs> I haven't even told him that the gauntlet is down. So what I'm going to do is after I'm done, when I'm assured of my product, I'm going to send him a photo and tell him, ha, I see your penguin and I raise you a Christmas tree and see what he came up with for his in-laws for this, uh, for Christmas. So let's see here. Should I put the, should I put the star up there already so that I know like how much space to fill? Maybe I will. Oh, this is gonna take a while. Okay, I've got a couple hours though. And I already got my dress on. You like my dress? Ooh, got my dress. And so I just need to put my makeup on. So don't look at my face because I didn't put any makeup on yet. So I'm pretty much ready to go. I just need to put makeup on and I'll be ready. So I have the time to play with this right at the moment. Of course, there's always a flurry of activity Oh, I don't know if this is going to work. A flurry of activity right before we leave. How's that look? Does that look? Does that look like it's going to be a Christmas tree? And um, so I should have plenty of time to play with this. I, you can't really see the star if I do that, though, can you? Okay, well, I will just keep plugging and chugging and see how this goes. See, the problem is, I really do have a philosophy, I really do, you can ask Lisa this, that um, 
to keep expectations low <laughs> because then people don't really expect too much. Like, I usually think of that in terms of kids' birthday parties. Like, I don't really believe in, like, doing the bouncy house and the pony and the magician and stuff, like, when they're too young because it's like they just expect you to top it year after year, and, and I don't really want to do that. So, um... I like, I like to say that I like to keep expectations low. And the problem with this masterpiece is that expectations are going to be high, really high next year. Like, what in the world can I do better than a Christmas tree next year? Like, they're going to come to expect this, don't you think? Like, maybe this is a bad idea. Maybe instead of getting demoted to ice, I'll be, like, promoted to, like, souffle. Like, I can't handle that. I really can't handle that. So maybe I should uh, fake incompetence and really mess it up. That way I won't be expected to do anything next year. Is that a plan? Oh my gosh. Okay, so I will just keep on trucking. Keep on trucking. Did you see my nails? Look, I didn't cut my finger, I promise. I went to the, get a manicure and I let the tech do what he wanted and that's what I got. So as you're seeing my red fingers, it's not that I cut myself, it's that I have crazy red nails, which is hilarious because it is not my personality at all to have sparkly nails. Like I'm just not a sparkly person. So, um, oh my gosh, this is kind of funny. So, um, so red nails, sparkly Christmas nails, yay me. So Chicky and I went and got our nails done. Now she's more of a sparkly person, so I wish she had gotten the sparkles. But her person didn't give her sparkles. My person gave me sparkles, so I guess never let anyone dull your sparkle, right? Maybe I need to let my inner sparkle shine. Okay, let's see here. Is it starting to look like a tree? <clears throat> Looks like a big blob. It's going to be a Christmas bush is what it's going to be. <laughs> I don't know about this. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna think I'm gonna have more. You know what? I'll probably do all this. And I'll probably be like super proud of it. <laughs> and then my in-laws will say something like, oh, that's really a waste of food there, Ellen. <laughs> and I'll be like, oh, yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> They'll probably be like, hmm, that's nice, but don't you think that's kind of a waste of food? <laughs> And if I had chickens, I would have said no food is ever wasted at our house because we always use it to feed the chickens. But I don't have chickens anymore, and so I don't know what I'm going to say. Okay, so while I'm doing this, probably ruining my scissors too. So I'm, I forgot to tell you, I still need to do grape tomatoes, and I bought cranberries. So cranberries are not a vegetable, I know that, but I thought they'd look so pretty on the tree. But since they're not a vegetable, I don't know, of course, grape tomatoes are technically a fruit too, and they might squish all over everything. So I don't know how this is gonna go. If I can find a way to put some cherry tomatoes interspersed on my tree so that it looks like baubles, what do you think? Is that a good idea? And then I also bought olives. Are olives a vegetable? I, I think technically they're a fruit. I think they're a fruit. But hey, pineapple's a fruit, tomato's a fruit. So clearly this is a fruit and vegetable tray. So that's a bonus, right? Like I get double points for doing fruit and vegetables together. So I was thinking olives too, but now I don't know if they're gonna go with the whole like scheme, color scheme. So let's just keep going and see what happens. Let's put, sprinkle a couple more tomatoes on there. So I'm just putting like half, cutting apart toothpicks and putting half in the, the item and then half like I'm sticking into the side of the tree. <laughs> Okie dokie, so this is what I've got so far. Anyway, it's kind of fun, it's kind of crafty. I'm actually not very crafty. Like I know you guys know me from crochet, you know, and all my crochet tutorials and designs and books and stuff, but like I'm not very, I'm not very crafty. I'm not very good at decorating either. Now that one stands really far out, so maybe I shouldn't have done that. Um, most of our house decorations, our home, is done by my husband. He's like way better at this than I am. Is that better? <laughs> maybe I should just finish one side 
and then I can like use that as the experiment and then I can finish the rest later. And I don't know how I'm gonna get the red and orange peppers on there unless I make like a garland with it, which is like, and then the carrots, like, I don't know how the carrots are gonna go. The carrots, the carrots might just have to lay on the plate. Sorry, carrots. Okay, is that discrimination? All right, what else do I do here? I'm gonna keep building. Anyway, I was asking you <laughs> several minutes ago when I got distracted. What are you bringing? What are you bringing? Um, so for Christmas for us, I we will be doing like sandwiches and appetizers. So I usually bring an appetizer. And so I was all planning to bring um, soft pretzels and cheese. And that's when my mother-in-law called and said, hey, can you bring the veggie tray? And I was like, uh, sure, whatever you want. So that's how I got... Oh, this one's falling apart. I'll just have to crowd, crowd more stuff in there. So that's how I got the veggie tray. But we usually just eat appetizers and then soup and roast beef sandwiches for um, dinner on Christmas. We don't have like a big sit down like ham dinner um, or turkey like we do for Thanksgiving. So we all love appetizers and um, party food. So who doesn't love party food? So we usually just do party food for Christmas. I think all this is just gonna fall off. That's the other thing. How am I gonna transport this? How am I, I don't even know. It's just, it's just a work in progress. We'll just have to wait and see, won't we? So, let's see. I guess I should make more of a stem down here at the bottom so that it stands out further, so it goes more out that way. What do you think? Do you need to see it so far? Is it too far away? This is what I have so far. <laughs> Does that look like the start of a tree to you? <laughs> anyway, I will just keep going and see what happens. Worst case, I take it all apart and lay it on the tray and call it done. I probably should put some cauliflower over there. The cauliflower is much more difficult than the broccoli. Let's see. That's a big hunk of snow there. It's all about balance, right? Boop. Good thing we have a puppy now. He can eat all the stuff I drop on the floor. And it's vegetables, right? So it's healthy. So I better not drop my candy bar because that's bad. My hands are clean, by the way, I promise. Oh my gosh, I just don't know. This is crazy. Okay, now I'm getting bored. Now I like want really big pieces so that I can get done faster. Uh, okay, here's the thing. Cauliflower falls apart. Cauliflower falls apart and broccoli doesn't. It's a good thing to know. All right, I'm, I need more broccoli. More broccoli. I am making a huge mess. What I really need is a lazy Susan so I can like spin it like all fancy like. All this leftover stuff I'm just gonna have to like throw into a soup or something. <laughs> it's like lots of little pieces that just fell apart. You know what my kids would say? My kids are gonna say, Mom, that is so extra. Apparently. 
this would be the definition of extra. It's kind of cute. It's not so terrible. I'm going to get there and I'm going to have cauliflower in my hair. It's the new style. Oh, the one side doesn't look so bad. The other side's kind of a mess. So I'm mostly done, but I haven't figured out what I'm gonna do with the red peppers. Like, I guess I could sort of put them on like garland, but I'm not really figuring it out how that's gonna look good. So let's see, let me, let me show you how it looks so far. Watch me drop this whole sucker. So here's my tree. It's not so terrible, right? Kind of looks like a Christmas bush, but I don't know how to put on the peppers. So I might just cheat and be done and put everything on the platter. And then I might have to bring a second platter for all the other vegetables that didn't make the cut. Ha, huh, make the cut. And then the little ranch dip or whatever. So I think I'm actually bringing two veggie trays to Christmas this year. So I'll have my veggie tree with all of this stuff. And then I'll make a second platter that's all the other stuff. And th it'll never get eaten. It'll never get eaten. Everybody will want the hanky pankies and the everything with cream cheese and everything with chocolate. And they won't want any of this stuff. But that's okay because I did my job. And that is all that matters. Thought I beat my brother. That's what really matters. So Ken, I want to see yours. So if he sends me a picture, I'm going to try and drop it into this video right now. And you can judge and you can, you can comment down below. Who wins the prize? Hmm? For the veggie tree, the veggie tray showdown, is it Ellen's three-dimensional multi, multi-color <laughs> structure, or is it Ken's whatever it is that he comes up with? I don't know. Anyway, thanks for keeping me company while I made my veggie tree thing. This thing weighs a ton. And I will see you next time. Please subscribe to the channel and comment below. Thanks. Merry Christmas. Hey all, my brother just sent me his Thanksgiving Day entry from Thanksgiving for the veggie tray and I'm shook. So here is a photo of it for you to consider against my Christmas tree. Now that you've seen Ken's entries and my Christmas tree, you need to comment below and tell me that I'm better, even though clearly <laughs> he has done way more work on his projects than I have. I think he's been doing this a little bit longer than me, so I concede that his train and his penguin and his turkey are superior to my Christmas bush. <laughs> anyway, have a great holiday. Thanks, everybody.